paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, pure time and velvet style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty, which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. Dave Kelso and welcome to Paradigm Shift, an educational comedy. We're going to show you some footage of a small dick Eric going after some kids and then get some people's opinions on the subject. Woo! Uh, wait up, Eric! That was a cool bell roll, man! Holy shit! I personally told you, Kevin, that I wanted to go to that party right in there. You didn't text me. You, listen, you have my number, okay? I was gonna bring little baby sodas. I know you like Dr. Pepper, okay? They, they like Sprite. Uh, I mean, I follow you guys on Instagram. You couldn't have posted something? I didn't see a post. I said I wanna play Duck Duck Goose. Duck, all right? We're playing a game. Sit down. I wanna play. I wanna play Duck Duck. Okay, just so everybody knows, we are playing Duck Duck Goose in that corner, so come hang out. I know you're in. Who said I had a small penis? You guys have to tell me. I asked you, and I'm an officer of the law. Okay, you are under arrest for calling me Small Dick Eric. Hey, Small Dick Eric! Who said Small Dick Eric? My first question goes to Katarina Edwards Roy and Paul Roy. In your opinion, just how big of a complete and total freaking loser do you think that someone like Small Dick Eric would have to be to be, you know, running around, whipping it out, going out for kids like that? Just, just how big of a loser? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, yo. That's right. Mm -hmm. He looks all crazy. It doesn't work. Just, just keep it down. Anyway. Sorry, because you know it was there. Attracted to like moving objects. Yep. <laughs> Shiny thing. Ooh. Pretty much what happened. Well, that seems completely logical to me. Um, Tobias Lars, do you suspect that there might have been any? MK Ultra programming going on here, or maybe he was indoctrinated into a satanic cult of some sort. Uh, your thoughts on maybe the chances of that sort of thing? So we got to get real with the deal here. What's the real deal? It comes down to some nitty gritty things. Not, I mean, that makes sense, right? We're avoiding it. Avoidance. He conjured demons. Okay, what we call demons, entities. And, you know, he's doing the, 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 the star, you know, the circle, the magic ritual, conjuring entities. Now, here's the thing. Why does he do that? The unacknowledged, subconscious, unexpressed, repressed, suppressed aspects, aspects. I'd say that definitely sounds plausible did seem more than just a little bit creepy there. Um, so, Teal Swan, I'd like to know if you think that maybe he was outwardly, psychologically projecting, perhaps, due to some emotional or mental abuses that uh, he might have suffered as a child or something? This is the basis of our justice system, and it begins in the home. What you find in people is that this punishment system which you first see in the home, the punishment which the parents or the caregivers or society inflicts on the children for them doing something which is considered bad, 
begins to be internalized, and pretty soon that external punishment system is replaced with an internal self-regulation system, which is a system of self-punishment and self-blame. Teal, I think you totally hit the nail on the head with that one. Now, Bashar, from a metaphysics and consciousness perspective, um, I'm curious as to what you think um, Officer Pedo Bear's state of being was when he was trying to hornily go after and otherwise butt rape those kids. Just, just, just curious as to the the energetic state of being that he might have been experiencing and what your take on that state of being might possibly be. Expressed in the concept of play of playing with everything that happens in your reality. Really having an attitude of gratitude toward it so that you receive every experience you have in a playful way and thus by receiving it in that playful way can do that much more with it. Be that much more creative with it. Allow it to be that much more flexible, malleable, stretchable, changeable, formable. Yeah, definitely seems to me like he was trying to play and getting those kids to be his little duck, duck, butt rape, goosey goose uh, situation there. Yeah, more than just a little creepy, seeing as it seemed like he was wanting to definitely make things changeable and formable and. Yeah, right in there. Yeah, Sheriff Hot Pants going to town. All right. Mm, yeah. So, my last question I would like to point at Henry Kissinger. Seeing as Mr. Kissinger, I'm I'm sure goes at um, Obama's uh, firm asshole. You know, at least a couple of times daily. Just looking at that going, mm, you know, because he's a part of the Illuminati. Y'all get so naughty. Um, I was curious, seeing as, um, you, would, you were outlining in, in previous statements that, um, that when the, um, the, uh, the butt cheeks get widened, that it also expands the, um, the New World Order quantum butt rape entanglement so as the as the rape widens the anus also does the the new world order expand um i i'm curious as to um your take on um you know what sheriff hot pants pedo bear scumbag was was doing there and um what you would say to him if you know you were able to say anything to him. So I'm just, just really curious as to your perspective there, Mr. Kissinger. I think it's a continuing process. I think its task will be to develop an overall strategy. It's a great opportunity. Alrighty, well, I would like to take this great opportunity to point out the obvious and state that this whole thing was a comedy, it was fake, no one was actually interviewed, and if you think it was real, then you're an idiot.